Hi everyone, this lesson is on consumption of processed foods and increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So we're going to talk about processed foods that both increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, but we're also going to talk about other processed foods that decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes. So there is an increasing prevalence of consumption of processed foods worldwide, particularly in the Western world. So there is a higher prevalence of processed food consumption in North America compared to Europe. And there is recent evidence indicating a significant association between consumption of some processed foods and elevated risk of type 2 diabetes. So type 2 diabetes is going to be often due to both genetics, family history, and lifestyle. And the lifestyle portion of this is going to be related to diet and physical activity. And type 2 diabetes involves insulin resistance. So type 2 diabetics are going to have insulin production and release, but their cells don't respond appropriately to the insulin, so there's insulin resistance or decreased insulin sensitivity. So the evidence that we're going to talk about in this lesson comes from this article entitled Ultra Processed Food Consumption and Risk of Type 2 Diabetes, Three Large Prospective U.S. Cohort Studies. So this was published in February 2023. So we're going to talk about some processed foods that actually increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, but we're also going to talk about some processed foods that decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes. And we'll talk a bit about why they increase and decrease the risk as we go through this lesson. So before I talk about those processed foods, I want to briefly talk about that article I just referred to. So that article actually looks at three different studies and collates the data and does an analysis on that data. So one of these studies was called the Nurses Health Study. Another one was the Nurses Health Study 2. And then there was another study that was a health professional follow-up study. In total, there was roughly 200,000 individuals, and these were prospective studies. So they followed these individuals over time, and they took food frequency questionnaires. And then they would look at the patients that have type 2 diabetes and see what foods were more likely to be consumed by those individuals. So this is where we actually get the association data for consumption of certain processed foods and increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So let's now start with the processed foods that are associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So one of them is going to be consumption of sugary beverages, so pop or soda pop. So this makes sense. This is a well-known risk factor for increased risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. So it's going to be due to consumption of lots of simple sugars. So it's going to be most of the time sucrose. So sucrose is a disaccharide of both glucose and fructose. So it's a simple sugar that's easily broken down and releases glucose very rapidly. It has a high glycemic index. And glycemic index is a measure of how fast and how high glucose levels rise in the blood after someone consumes a beverage or a food. So the higher the glycemic index is going to be, the worse the food or beverage is going to be for glucose and insulin homeostasis. So the higher the glycemic index, the faster and the higher the blood glucose level is going to get after eating or drinking something. So that's going to be important as we go through these different processed foods. The next processed food that is also associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes is refined bread. So this is going to be white bread. So white bread is going to have high carbohydrate levels, but also low fiber levels. And this is going to be important when we talk about other processed foods later on in this lesson. And then we can also see consumption of sauces and condiments increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes as well. These often have very high levels of simple sugars. So these processed beverages and foods are going to have high glycemic indexes and high carbohydrate levels. Some other processed foods that are associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes is processed meats. So consumption of processed meats is associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. This is because of the preservatives in the processed meats. So the consumption of the preservatives in processed meats increases the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. So this is the reason why we see higher levels of type 2 diabetes in people who eat a lot of processed meats. And ready-made dinners are also another processed food that is associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So these ready-made dinners often are going to have high carbohydrate levels, high glycemic indexes, and high fat levels as well. And some may also have some preservatives in them as well. So this is another reason why we can see increased risk of type 2 diabetes in people who eat a lot of ready-made dinners as well. Now let's talk about processed foods that are associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. So individuals in those studies we talked about before, that had taken those food questionnaires, the more they ate of these processed foods, the lower their risk of type 2 diabetes. So one of them is going to be cereals, especially high fiber cereals. So these are going to be cereal grains or even breakfast cereals. So things that have high fiber are going to be important. And the reason is, is because high fiber levels, so the more fiber you are to consume, it helps to regulate your glucose levels. So it actually blunts the rise in glucose levels. This is going to help individuals with reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes and 
also for glycemic control in individuals who have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. And then along with this, whole grain breads are going to be better than those white breads we talked about before. Whole grain breads still have higher carbohydrate levels, but they also have higher fiber levels. And again, those higher fiber levels are going to blunt or suppress the rise in glucose levels in the blood. And so again, this is going to be very important in helping to improve glucose and insulin homeostasis. So this is the reason why these two particular processed foods are associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. And other processed foods that are associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes include processed fruit-based products, so mostly going to be dried fruit. And the reason is, is because fruit, although it does contain higher levels of carbohydrates, they're going to be more complex carbohydrates. So they're going to take more time to break down. So their glycemic indexes are going to be generally lower than those simple sugars we talked about earlier on in the lesson where we were talking about soda pop, for instance. So the complex carbohydrates in fruit-based products are going to take more time to break down. So that rise in blood glucose levels is going to be slower. And there's also going to be fiber in these fruit-based products as well. And there's also a finding that yogurt consumption and consumption of some other dairy-based desserts or dairy-based products can lower the risk or is associated with a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. So again, it has been found that there's an association between yogurt consumption. So the more yogurt someone consumes, the lower their risk of type 2 diabetes is. So this is also something I want to mention here as well. If you found this lesson helpful, please check out my other lessons on nutrition and diet. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.